The Swedish telecoms equipment firm Ericsson has disappointed investors with news of a 92% plunge in fourth quarter profits as customers scale back their spending. The firm launched a cost-cutting program including 5,000 job cuts in January last year. However, today it would announce another 1,500 job cuts. Well, joining us live from Stockholm is the chief financial officer of Ericsson, Yang Frickhammer. Yang, thanks for joining us. What's gone wrong? I think, uh, I mean, first of all, I think we are we are in the middle of the worst uh, financial crisis ever. And as a company, we have uh, uh, adjusted our cost structure and we are uh, on, on good track to turning the company around. Problem, isn't it, is the competition, notably from the Far East and notably indeed from China, who, be, who can do things cheaper, they're leaner than a company like yours. How are you going to bounce back? I think, I mean, the telecom industry has always been very competitive and, and it, is, it continues to be very competitive. And, and I think we have a very strong uh, market position, very good uh, customer base, very strong employees and a very, very strong services organization. And the combination of that with technology leadership is, is a strong base to compete from. You have been going through a period of reconstruction. To what extent has that hit the bottom line today? Uh, I mean, I think, so first of all, if you look at our income statement, excluding the restructuring efforts we have and excluding the losses that we have incurred from our joint venture companies, uh, I think you can see an adjusted result that, that is actually quite uh, okay, given the, the current uh, economic situation. And is, is it when you talk about the current economic situation, you're not a particularly customer focused and customer facing company is this more like delayed reaction from the uh, crisis that people were going through mainly last year well i, I think i mean the telecom uh, operators the investment behavior of telecom operators globally uh, obviously varies a lot but uh, as a company we started to see some impact already early 2009 when it comes to the investment level of operators and their planning cycles were uh, quite short meaning three to six months on during the second half of the year this has accelerated uh, somewhat the same trend as uh, third quarter we see now in fourth quarter and and yes now as a company we see some impacts on our uh, top line with regards to lowering investments Jan Frickhammer, thanks very much indeed for joining us today